Hi students, in this video we are going to discuss about probability and statistic, especially testing hypothesis. In testing hypothesis, we will see chi-square test for goodness of fit. So what is chi-square test for goodness of fit? It is a test to find if the deviation of the experiment from the theory is just by chance or it is due to inadequacy of the theory to fit the observed data. By this test, we test whether the differences between observed and expected frequencies are significant or not. So what we have mentioned here, observed and expected difference, that is observed minus expected whole square divided by expected error. Okay, well. So chi square formula is summation of O minus E whole square divided by E. Here O is called observed frequency, E denotes expected frequency. Now what are the applications of chi square distribution? First, to test the goodness of fit. So what is goodness of fit? Whether the observed data match with the expected data, if both are significant or not. Next, to test the independence of attributes. So if you are taking any two attributes are uncorrelated, that is called independence. If you are taking any two attributes are dependent, that is dependent of attributes okay well, here we are taking to test the independence of attributes that means uh, any two attributes of this given one should be uncorrelated to test if the hypothetical value of the population variance is sigma square next to test the homogeneity of independent estimates of the population variance last one to test the homogeneity of independent estimates of the population correlation coefficient now what are the conditions of the application of chi square test? The sample observation should be independent. Already we discussed the sample observation should be independent. Then constraints on the cell frequencies, if any must be linear, that is summation OI equal to summation EI. Okay. Then capital N, the total frequency should be at least 50. The total frequency at least 50 no theoretical cell frequency should be less than 5. In case, in the fitting of the uh, binomial distribution, what is the degrees of freedom? That is n minus 1. Then if it is Poisson distribution, degrees of freedom n minus 2. If it is normal distribution, degrees of freedom n minus 3. When we found chi square equal to 0, all observed and expected frequencies are coincide. That means there is no difference. So sometimes uh, astrologers, uh, uh, astrologers mean uh, astrologers uh, they have uh, predict uh, uh, these things will be happen in your life. Uh, if it is same thing happen in your life, uh, both are coincide. Uh, that is chi square equal to zero. Suppose uh, what they have said that is not matched with this one, chi square equal to some other value. Okay. So for chi square distribution, what is mean mean value equal to v variance equal to two v. And how do we conclude uh, using chi square? The calculated chi square, that is uh, summation O minus E whole square divided by E, less than table chi square. Then we accept H0, otherwise reject H0. Let us see one problem. A sample analysis of examination results of 500 students was made. It was found that 220 students was failed. 170 have secured a third class. 90 have secured a second class and the rest at a first class. So do these figures support the general belief that the above categories are in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1 respectively. Okay. So for you may take any one example. Suppose our students have written the exam. Okay. So after the valuation, after the valuation over, they found that uh, uh, examiners said the report um, uh, each 10 papers and they are taking uh, one 10 papers means uh, there four people have uh, failed three people have third class uh, two people secured uh, second class uh, one people as a first class okay so they have uh, set the category four is to three is to two is to one so for example uh, 20 valued uh, examiners are there each uh, examiner uh, said uh, the same type of ratio okay but uh, the 
main data says that 220 students was failed, 170 students third class, 90 students second class and uh, rest of them uh, first class. So, let us uh, check that whether the observed one, whether the observed one uh, match with the expected one. Okay. See, given n equal to 4, that means uh, what are the four categories? First one fail, second, third, four, third, uh, second class and uh, last one, fourth one, uh, first class. So, total number of students frequency 500. Okay, here n equal to 4 means four categories, total frequency is 500. So, what is such not? The examiner said the results of the students in the category 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. We accept that H naught it is true. What is H1? Suppose the results are not in the 4 categories. 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. Here, uh, see this one, there is no significant level is given. So, we assume that alpha equal to 5 percentage. Okay. So, it is look like uh, binomial, not binomial, uh, fail or pass. So, degrees of freedom equal to n minus 1. So, totally n equal to 4. So, 4 minus 1 equal to 3. So, the table value of chi square equal to 7.815 for the degrees of freedom n equal to 3 and level of significant uh, 5 percentage. How do we know chi square equal to 7.815? Let us see. See, that is uh, n equal to 3. So, that is n minus 1 3 for degrees of freedom 3 and the level of significant uh, 0, uh, 0.05. What is the value? 7.815. This is the uh, chi square table value. Chi square table value. You may identify, uh, take this degrees of freedom as a horizontal and take this uh, level of significant as a vertical values. Okay. Now, uh, the test statistic. Okay. Initially, uh, see these data are over. Uh, defining uh, H naught is over, H1 is over and uh, uh, defined uh, level of significant degrees of freedom and we have found that uh, table value also. Okay. Now, the test statistic is chi square equal to summation O minus E whole square divided by E. So, O already is there. What is expected? So, the total of the ratio. So, they said that uh, what is the result ratio? 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1 for the 10 students. So, totally 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 10. So, for uh, 10 students, 4 people got to fail mark for out of 500, 200. Okay. For 10 students, 3 people got to third class for out of 500, 150 students. For 10 students, 2 people got, uh, 2 students got to second class for out of 500, 100 students. For each 10 students, 1 student got to first class. So, out of 515. Okay. So, these are the expected frequencies. Okay. So, what are the observed frequencies? Uh, 220, 170, 90 and uh, rest of them. Okay. Let us see. Chi square value is calculated from the following table. They see the categories failures, third class, second class, first class. It is uh, observed uh, categories uh, 220, 170, 90 and rest of them. 220 plus 170 plus 90, add this 3 value and subtract from 500 that is value 20. Okay. So, the expected value we found that you know uh, for 10, 4, uh, four uh, for 10 students, so 4 people got uh, failures uh, for out of 500, 200 like that uh, 150, 100 and uh, 15. Okay. So, from the first site itself, um, both are not matched with together. Okay. So, let us see the difference. Uh, uh, 20, 20, minus 10, minus 30. Now, uh, apply the formula. O minus E whole square divided by E. So, 20 square divided by expected 200. Answer 2. Then, 20 square divided by 150. Then, minus 10 square divided by 100. And, minus 30 whole square divided by 50. Answer 18. Uh, add this all the value. Answer comes uh, chi square equal to 23.667. See that uh, here the uh, calculated value 23.667, but the table value 7.815. So, what is our assumption? You know, the table value should be 
less than the sorry calculated value should be less than the table value then only we can accept the h0 but here greater than uh, table value so we reject h0 that means uh, the examiner said the data is wrong why you know because one examiner said uh, 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1 maybe it is uh, not match with some other examiner if it is uh, 10 exam examiners are there each and every examiner is having some ratio okay all the students uh, didn't write uh, like this so this is not matched with it together so hence we conclude that the results in the four categories are not in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1 okay